Hi, I'm Tina Lopesca. I'm a licensed massage therapist at The Good Life Massage. Ah, well, I've always loved dance. I've danced since I was really young, uh, probably about four or five years old, as soon as I could walk, really. And I've done it ever since. I've done ballet and jazz, uh, modern, tap, you name it. It's just been one of those hobbies I've loved my whole life. Uh, I've also done, on the opposite side of the spectrum, uh, Krav Maga, some self-defense training, which is pretty fun, keeps me pretty fit, pretty active. Uh, I'm kind of a big nerd. I love games online games, uh, PC games, board games, anything like that. I knew I wanted to work in the health field somewhere, I always, so I thought maybe just being a nurse was a good start. I volunteered in the ER, uh, kind of got into that field a little bit, but I decided I don't really like hospitals very much. kind of creeped me out a little bit. <laughs> so at the time, my neighbor, uh, he had been a massage therapist, and he told me about it, and the college was right down the street, so I met with a counselor, got to see the room, get some experience with what massage therapy is like, and I haven't looked back since then. I've loved it. I love helping people. I love the after effect of helping them from being in pain to feeling so much better. You can do no wrong with massage therapy. I mean, they're happy to see you. You're happy to help them. And it's a really rewarding career. And it's just, there's no stress in it. And I love that about it. <laughs> they always say I have this knack for, for homing in on knots. <laughs> I tend to find them right, you know, right away, and they don't even know that they had them. They always joke about that with me, so I guess my palpation, my intuition to find where their people are stressed and where they're feeling it, even if they're not aware of it. You know, as well as dancing and, and doing the self-defense to kind of keep me fit, um, I really love stretching. That's kind of my go-to for just recovery and just kind of keeping myself limber and really helps myself as well because after a long day of massage, I have to make sure that I'm taken care of. So stretching for me has been huge and it's also great for clients as well. So I, I want to continue to learn more stretches and kind of and figure out more techniques and things like that. <laughs> Only just those two options out of all the superpowers out there in the world. Um, we have all been in that situation where you're stuck in traffic and you just wish you could just fly over everybody and not be stuck. That would be great. <laughs> she had a return injury in her rotator cuff and it was really bothering her. She couldn't move her arm very well at all, not very high, and we had been working several sessions, probably four or five in, in sessions. She had been going to physical therapy as well to try and fix it, and I was stretching it out within her comfort level, of course, and it made this horrible popping, crunching noise, and I was terrified at first, and I was like, are you okay? Did I just break you? And she was like, Yes, that was amazing, and it, it really broke up all the scar tissue, and she could move it a little bit better, and it was just that eureka moment that we weren't expecting, but it was great, and we, we laughed about it a lot, and it was that moment of when it finally kind of comes together, all that hard work, and trying to just get it to let go, and it's a really rewarding moment. I wish my clients knew how much wear and tear they put on their body day in, day out without even realizing it and I think sometimes clients can become desensitized to it as well they have that nagging pain or ache in their body and they're just used to it every day and they don't even realize it's there anymore because it's just part of of their everyday life and really checking in with yourself every day and seeing how your body's doing and feeling is really important so I wish they knew just how much they need to take care of themselves